Hi everybody, Doug here with another Doug's Life video. Today uh, I'm going to be filming the third in a series of videos about copper compounds. Uh, today we'll be making copper 2 oxide from copper 2 carbonate. Now this is the copper 2 carbonate which we've prepared in a previous video. Um, there are various hydration states of copper 2 carbonate and so um, it ranges from a, a pale blue to a dark green sort of color and we'll see that it'll be very apparent as we start heating it. Um, copper also forms many uh, coordination compounds with lots of other anions, so um, I'll demonstrate the, those in a few upcoming videos, which would be kind of cool. I can isolate some copper complexes and things like that, maybe some amine complexes with ammonia. But uh, So in this video we'll produce, we'll produce copper 2 oxide by heating copper 2 carbonate to over 290 degrees Celsius, which is where it decomposes from the carbonate into the oxide uh, with the evolution of carbon dioxide gas. So this would be cool because of the color change would be very apparent. This right here is a very hot piece of glass. It's on a hot plate, it's on high. It's been heating for a little while. And I'll pour this in, and I'll begin to stir the powder, and uh, we'll soon be able to see uh, some color changes. This will probably go to dark green, and then finally to the copper oxide, which will be black. So here we go. Now you can already see the powder near the bottom is starting to turn green and brown. And it's getting light and fluffy as the carbon dioxide is given off. Zoom in on the action. You can see how it's getting greener near the bottom, and then slowly to brown as it's oxid or as it's uh, decomposing into copper oxide but first dehydrating. Well, here we are. We're a little farther along. Uh, it's all pretty much dark green, and there's some brown showing up as the copper oxide, uh, and of course the anhydrous uh, copper carbonate. And as you can clearly see, it's forming mostly near the bottom. If I pick this up, you can see the, all the oxide starts at the bottom. And then slowly I mix it in as it goes. So I'm going to uh, stop the video, and uh, I'll be back as soon as it's, uh, it's fully converted. Alright. After probably about a half an hour of heating, um, we have now converted just about all of our uh, copper 2 carbonate into copper 2 oxide. As you can see, it's a very black-brown powder. Uh, and of course this speaker is very hot so we need something to grab onto it with. And as you can see, it's a brownish powder. Wow, that is very hot. So yes, now we have this, um, this copper 2 oxide. And all we need to do now is uh, find something to do with it. And I was thinking thermite. So, I think I'll uh, let this cool off and mix it with the appropriate amount of magnesium, uh, and then we can make some thermite, and I'll set it off, and we'll see if we can recover any copper metal from that. Oh, that. Okay, so we're going to make copper oxide thermite, and we have the copper oxide, and we have the appropriate amount of magnesium weighed out here, which is uh, 4.93 grams mixed with 17.25 grams of copper 2 oxide and we'll put it in this metal can, take it outside and light it up. Alright, we're outside. We have the thermite mixture in the can and we're going to light it with this torch. So, oops. Alright, here we go. And there we have the gobules of white hot molten copper in the bottom of the can. This is the can that the thermite was set off in. As you can see, it's severely warped from the heat. But um, the reaction should have produced pure copper metal. Well, impure copper metal, I should say. And um, so I decided to show the copper metal that was formed 
by uh, taking the reaction products and pouring them into a beaker and letting them sit in hydrochloric acid for a while because the hydrochloric acid should eat all of the reaction products, uh, namely the magnesium oxide, and uh, we should be left with just the copper metal. So I'm going to pour this off. And the bottom here, you can clearly see, though still tainted by some carbon containing impurities, um, is lumps of copper metal. And I'll dry these in, on a paper towel and weigh them and see how they compare to the original 17.5 grams of uh, copper 2 carbonate or copper 2 oxide that we started off with. Well, we got the copper washed and rinsed, and it looks like there's 5.56 grams. As you can see, the copper is its characteristic sort of orangish color, although I think it looks black because it's uh, it's so fine, and also there could be some carbon impurities from uh, garbage that was in the can because it's, it was like enameled or something, but uh, this is only uh, just under 40% of theoretical yield of 13.8 grams, so, um, but the reaction did produce quite a bit of smoke, and so the copper was probably mostly vaporized in the reaction. And also, of course, there's some processing loss. But So yeah, that's the products of that thermite reaction. I just thought I'd add that in there. Oh, subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks for watching.